Hey guys, what's going on? It is a Monday morning when I'm recording this. Um, we are going to be watching a few more videos this week because the uh, the DVD that has uh, the loneliness video that you watched uh, last week has three more videos on it. And we're going to be watching those this week and that's going to be uh, the bulk of your work uh, for class this week. Uh, and so what I want to do now is just kind of give you an introduction uh, to this first video that's on peer pressure. And you're going to find uh, that there are some challenging things, uh, some challenging questions that are raised uh, on this video that you're about to watch uh, with regard to peer pressure. Um, and the idea, kind of the main idea here, is, as far as I can tell, is the idea of influence. Um, and the fact that we are influenced by those who we spend time with, those who we are closest with, and ultimately that also means that we influence other people as well. The Bible has a lot to say about friendship. There is just so much about friendship in Scripture. And ultimately, to be a Christian means that Jesus is our best friend. Now, he's unlike any friend that we have. We don't worship any of our friends. We worship Jesus. Uh, but he's our best friend, and he even refers to us or considers us uh, to be his friends. Uh, he's called historically the friend of sinners, and uh, that's that's exactly what he is, you know. And if you understand uh, that you're a sinner and that you need Jesus, you understand what it's like to have Jesus as your friend, uh, your best friend. He's my best friend. Um, my whole life is in Jesus, and I hope that's the case uh, for all of you as well. If he is your best friend, then and and he must be. If you be a Christian, Jesus cannot just be a part of your life or one of your friends or one of your influences. But ultimately, he he rules your life. He's Lord of all, and he he's Lord of your life. If he is your best friend, you're closest to him, and he lives in your heart, um, and you are pressed into his heart too, um, then that is supposed to determine. Uh, who our best friends are. That's not to say we can't have any non-Christian friends, um, or, you know, of course. I mean, Jesus, he was friends with non-believers as well. He wants us to be uh, to be friends with them too, to influence them. But we have to be careful because ultimately it's, they're the ones who are influencing us and we're influencing them. Um, but because we are so vulnerable and so moldable, uh, especially at your age, you, you might not might not care to admit it, but it's the truth. Especially at your age, you're you're easily influenced and things like that. Um, because of that, we want to make sure that we have relationships that are encouraging us uh, to get closer to Jesus and to follow Him. And one of the uh, one of the young ladies that's going to be on the video here, actually, the only I guess there's another young lady there too who keeps uh, sort of narrating the beginning and the end of each video. But one young lady, Crystal. Uh, she uh, she just beautifully describes, uh, I think, the the difference between her non-Christian friends and then her Christian friends, um, because she says that the Christian friends were those who encouraged her to walk with God and to get closer with Jesus. And uh, so I, I hope that you pick up on that. I hope that you can uh, can be clear uh, on that as you listen to this and and, and think about some hard things. Uh, think think about these hard things that get brought up in this video. Um, who are your friends? Who are your best friends? Who are you closest with? Are they encouraging you to walk with Jesus? Are they encouraging you instead to uh, to sin and do things that are ultimately going to hurt you? Or are, do they encourage you um, to do things that help you to grow in Christ, to get closer to him, and to be the person you were created to be? Think about that uh, as you watch this video. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot. It's about a 12 minute long video. Uh, so this is about four minutes, four and a half minutes, plus the 12 minutes, it's only 16 and a half minutes. And then you have some more questions to answer similar to uh, watching the video last week, uh, last uh, Thursday or Friday, I think it was. Uh, so it should be a fairly easy one here for one of your class sessions and appreciate all the work you're doing. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.